Hi, uh, we're here at University Locks, it's one of the accommodations for VCU, and we're going to play a game of hide and seek, and I'm going to win. Okay, you've got 100 seconds, we're going to go hide. Three, two, one, go! Let's go! Okay guys, so we're about to go and hide. Let's do this as fast as we can. I thought I might have a bit of an advantage with this because I actually used to live in this building, but um, so did Tierney. I've come up with a crazy idea. Let's leave my wheelchair somewhere over here and then go hide somewhere completely different. Now that will give us a much better chance at winning this game. Oh, hello mate. Hi. I won't tell anyone where you're hiding. I don't know where you're hiding, so you don't have to worry about that from me. Okay. <laughs> so guys, I'm in the study area. You can tell because it's quiet and there's no student here because we're always eating. I hope But um, you can tell because there's some books here. Or oh, Alice food to rejuvenate our brain cells when we get bored because I always need like snacks when I'm working because I can't do anything without it. 43, 44, 45. So I reckon that Tierney's probably only counted to about 50, so... Maybe we've got time for a quick game of table football before she comes anywhere near me and I need to find my hiding place. It's much harder on your own. No, 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 no! Okay, guys, I don't think anyone heard us coming up. So we are going to the accessible flat now, which is amazing for people in wheelchairs. I use a wheelchair, so... I'm quite excited to see this as well. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Why did I do this? Why did I agree to this? Help me! Help me! I think it's a here. She'll so totally see me. Kitchen, cute little kitchen, got TV, sofas, nice dining table. Anyone hiding in the cupboard? It's a good, good spot to hide that one. No, okay, let's keep looking. Best thing for me about living here was um, I went to the conservatoire. I went to the conservatoire, I still go to the conservatoire, and that's a, what, five minute walk from here? Even um, on the year where everything froze over and it was just a solid sheet of ice between here and university, I could get there in maybe 10 minutes if I fell over a couple of times, but that wasn't too bad. I also got very, very lucky with the people I moved in with. I was in a flat of seven people, and all of them are... Six of my best friends. I'm very, very grateful for the people that I got to live with. There's a lot of them. I don't know if I even would have met them if I hadn't lived with them. Anyone in here? Oh, it's cute in here though. Love the plant. Found the plant. No one's hiding in the wardrobe, maybe? No, no one's hiding in the wardrobe. Bathroom. In the shower? No. This is another one of the common rooms, um, so maybe they're in here. Um, I think this one's kind of mostly made for like studying. There's a printer over there. Nice tables where everybody can sit and stuff, so maybe they're in here, I don't know. There are practice rooms in the building for music students you can book out, which is really useful because even though, even though college is only five minutes away, there are only so many practice rooms. So if you live here, you can book out a room. To get some practice in when the conservatory isn't open. Late night practice, early morning practice. Sometimes the muse strikes you in the middle of the night. You just gotta go whack out some chords. Hey guys, I wonder what my wheelchair is doing right now. You know what, I played 
ping pong on here at six o'clock in the morning after a night out. It's very fun, I recommend. Good place to hide. Thank you. I'm in the bicycle shed. Do you want to see? So if you are worrying about choosing an accommodation because you are a disabled student or anything like that, you don't need to worry, guys. That's what I learned today. If I learn anything from this game, so this accommodation is crazy. The accessibility is amazing. And look how much room you have under the bed. I know that's irrelevant right now. But you could honestly fit someone underneath here. I think she's coming. I'm under the bed. Trying to sleep under the bed, hoping I don't be found. And a great spot to see the canals from. So I feel like I, I think one thing like I need to like you know when I was doing because I'm doing my masters now. When I was doing my undergraduate, like all the time, I'd never have breakfast. Even now, I wouldn't. But I'm just saying, like, I, I recommend you guys to have breakfast. But I know it's long as well. Like, you have to do lunch, and you have to do dinner, you have to do breakfast too. And I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't have cereal. So, like, well, <laughs> I do sometimes. But I just take whatever I take. You know, like, I know what's coming. The consequences. I bear the consequences because I love cereal. See, this is why it's a love and a hate relationship with food. They kill you, but you just kind of. Like it takes me an hour sometimes so like it's a tw like it's like 25 minutes away on bus but it's like an hour 50 minutes like a 50 minutes or an hour to walk so i do walk and i think it's really good because like i feel like i think it's like mentally and someone told me as well once that it's really really good for you to walk like it's so good for your health I swear I heard snoring. <laughs> I think he's falling asleep. Oh, come on. <laughs> Guys, did, did I win? No, I found you. First? Second, so oh. not, bad, not bad. Okay, guys, we're out. <laughs> Morning. But you know what it is? It's so comfortable because there's so many sheets in here. Like I've just been chilling in here. I've been on my phone, I've been Snapchatting the whole time and been talking to these about routines. Honestly. Yes, yes. 
Thanks very much for watching, guys. That was us playing hide and seek in university locks. Comment down below where you want us to play hide and seek next. Unfortunately, I lost this time, but I won. <laughs> <laughs>